dear Philippians, my cherished friends, every time you come to mind, I find myself heartful, thankful for you all. I think by now you've probably heard the tale about my address change to jail. It's true. The place from which I'm writing you, it's hard. From behind these prison bars, all I see are guards and all of you far too far away. But what my heart sees and perceives is that God receives these abuses and introduces his own uses. So what was meant to be to me something hostile is becoming the cannon fire of the gospel. Because while I'm praising Jesus inside these prison walls, his name is now also being worshiped in Caesar's own halls. Friends, we have to look higher, out past the fire, beyond our station and the panic about our present situation. If seeing is believing, I hope you're seeing the world askew from the way that you have been told to, seeing with an eternal view. Because I can see how that for me now to live is Christ, to lift up his name, to proclaim his fame, to expand his reign and to die. Well, that's gain. But if you'll grant a condemned man just one wish, it's this. Love each other. Please love each other just a little bit better. Try to live unfettered by the pressure of bitterness. Season eagerness and tenderness for togetherness. Try and see others as Christ might and fight the tendency toward distrust. Please, you must let love grow. Oh, and as you go, don't be in a hurry to worry. Sometimes fear can hide in me and I can feel anxiety creeping up in me, crawling its way up from my gut. But then I look up and I have to trust in someone bigger than us. Look in life, you will face a million choices and a hundred voices will tell you which way you should go. We'll persuade you it's they who can know. We'll pretend to be friend when they're foe. But only one can truly know the plans that he has for you. And the fact is that they're just that. Plans that are for you. Because God, he adores you. So even when this world looks like storm-tossed oceans and whirlpool motions repeat the refrain that my future may be circling the drain, I will believe that God's plans for me are good, even if they can't be understood. I'll cling to the one king whose peace passes all understanding, the one who is commanding everything. For Jesus turns our prisons into freedoms, our bleeding into healing, our darkness into beacons and our wastelands into Edens. So I'll keep on believing in the here and coming kingdom. And it's his face I'll be seeking until my God is receiving me home.